Question. Are you stressing over on how to apply for studying in Finland? If you answered yes, then you don't want to miss a second of this video. Because today I'm going to share you 7 steps how to find information on different degree programs, universities, scholarships and applications. So let's go check that right now. What a fantastic! Welcome to another video. If you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe because you will get more videos about Finnish cultural lifestyle and language in the future. And first of all, I'm going to show you six general tips and then I'm going to jump into my computer and show you step by step how to find the information yourself. Let's do it. Let's start with universities and universities of applied sciences. So in Finland, we have two different types of institutes that offer higher education. And universities applied sciences offer professionally oriented higher education and have strong ties within working life and regional development. So basically what they do, they offer a little bit more practical higher education. And in universities applied sciences, or in short UASs, offer both bachelor and master level program. And the bachelor programs take around 3.5 to 4.5 years and equal around 210 to 240 credits. And the master degrees usually require around two to three year work experience before you can actually apply for these master programs in UASs. And of course then we have the universities and the difference to UASs is that they carry out research and the education they do is based on the research they do at the universities. And in universities you have also bachelors and masters. Bachelors are usually three years, 180 credits and masters 120 credits, which is two years. And of course, there's also doctoral programs. And the credit basically is around 25 to 30 hours of work time. So it just gives an estimation how much work you need to do to pass that course. And the tip number two is to get the general idea of the application process. And study in Finland has five clear steps outlined for this one. First of all, is choosing your program. Of course, you want to figure out what you want to study and where you want to study. So you need to make some background research on to figure out where and what you want to study. And the step two is checking out the admissions info because each program and each school have a little bit different criteria, for example, and scholarship information. So you want to check out these throughout before you make any decisions. Then you just apply for the program and the scholarships. And luckily this is made very easily because it's Finland, you know, we have kind of functional systems. Once the application window is open, you just apply and apply for the, for the programs and the scholarships. And in this video, I will show you step by step how to do these three ones later on this video. So stick around. And the next step is of course waiting just the decision. So once you apply, you just wait that you will get accepted or not. And the last step is of course preparing for your arrival, especially if you come outside of European Union, you need to get the residence permits and stuff. So that's the last step. Okay, the next tip what I'm going to talk about is the programs themselves. So like I said, Finland offers lots of different programs, both in bachelor and master level and in English. So it will be your, up to you to decide which school you want to study and which program and which study level. For example, in study in Finland, they have this kind of easy general search function to figure out which schools offer a program that you are interested in. But we will have a look, closer look at this in a moment, so stick around. And the tip number five is the eligibility. So basically this is the criteria that you need to meet in order to be eligible to ac get accepted for that study program. And usually there are two criteria, like a general criteria. First of all, let's say if you apply for a master degree, you need to have a bachelor degree already in a relevant field. And then the other one is the the sufficient English level. And usually the English level is, for example, measured by IELTS or TOEFL. Did I pronounce them, <laughs> I pronounce them correctly? You know, this English standardized test that will give you a score and you need a certain score amount to be eligible for this, to meet this criteria. And there might be also some additional criteria depending on the program, but these are usually outlined in the program, the program info page. We will look at this also in a second. So the tip number six is the tuition fees. So as you might know, before 2017, everything was free for everyone. So there was no tuition fees at all. But from 2017, a law was introduced that people from outside of European Union or economic er European economic area need to pay tuition fees. But don't worry, because at the same time, they implemented the scholarship system, especially for people who have to pay tuition fees. It can be really discouraging because the tuition fees can be like 10,000 euro for us academic year. So that's crap lot of money, isn't it? But like I said, the good news is that the schools have their scholarship programs and you can also apply for the scholarships once you make the application to the study program itself. So you can do it seamlessly while you just make the regular application. And also remember that each school has their own scholarship program, so you want to check them out as well. But we will be having this also in a moment, so stick around. And also interesting point to keep in mind that only the degree programs taught in English are tuition fees or have tuition fees. So if you t apply for a program that is taught in 
Finnish or Swedish, there's no tuition fee. So in case your Finnish level is you're pretty fluent already, you might consider just applying for the Finnish program because there's no tuition fees. Okay, now we talk about the general tips. Now let's jump to the computer and have a look at some of these degree programs about the tuition fees, scholarships, criteria and so on. So so let's jump right there. All right guys, so here we are at, at the computer and we are looking at study in Finland.fi. Make sure to check out this one. This gives a really good like a general information about studying in Finland and how to apply and so on. But the website we have a little bit closer look at is the studyinfo.fi. And this is the website where you can find some detailed level information about the scholarship, the programs, the structures about each program. So let's check out what we can find here. So the first thing we see is English taught bachelor and master programs published. Check out available options in joint application to higher education 2020, joint application almost blah blah. So this is something I forgot to mention a moment ago is that in Finland we have this joint application to higher education which means that with one application actually apply to different programs with one go so that's pretty good but unfortunately not all the programs are in this but I think most of them are and at least that's what I was it was for me when I applied back in the days and it this applies only for this applies also for English programs but anyway let's see what we can find here and in this web page you can actually find some really good general information about Finnish education system and so on, so make sure to do it. But okay, let's search for study options. Let's just say, for example, business. Business, economics, finance, we get already a lot of suggestions. Let's take, for example, business management and search. So this is how you look for the pro specific programs. It's already narrowed or scoped English programs only, which is what we want to look at. And here we can, for example, see what we have here. Master of Business Administ Administrations, Turku University of Applied Sciences. And here on the right hand side you can see when the application period will open. And this seems it has their own application, so it's not in the joint. Uh, starts 25th of November at 12. Okay, great. Okay, let's have a look at a few concrete examples. And here's for example, Computing Sciences, Software, Web and Cloud, Master of Science, two years program for Tampa University. Okay, and here when you click one of these programs in the in the search bar, you get very good detail level explanation for each program. So let's see what we can find for this one. First of all, we have some really basic ones. Studies, studies begin autumn 2020, teaching English, how they teach you, contact teaching, daytime teaching, blah, blah, blah. Extent of study, that's the 120 credits, which is the standard for masters. Tuition fee, 12,000 euros. Holy shit, that is expensive stuff. But don't worry, because we will checking out the scholarships in a little bit as well. If you scroll down, we can learn the study objectives, study contents, so you can get detail level stuff like what they teach you. Tuition fees, we will get back to this in a little bit. Structure of studies, so there's for example, data science, machine learning, statistical data, analytics, blah, blah, blah. A career opportunity. So this is very good. This is, like, this is what I like because they will tell you what kind of programs or what kind of career and job positions people from this program usually get. And this is very important because when you are, for example, researching what kind of jobs are in demand in Finland, this can give you a good guideline because I, I think, especially if you're a foreigner, it's important to study a degree program that is in demand in Finland because it will increase your chance of landing a job. Great. So for example, this one we have, there's a lack, lack of software professionals in Finland abroad. Almost 90% of students pursuing software related majors at Tampere University are employed on the day they graduate. So sounds pretty good. A typical career in company starts with working as a programmer and then advancing towards expert and or managerial positions. So graduates find employment also in commercial and administrative tasks related to the field without excluding the work as a research or a teacher. Great. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay, then we, if we scroll up, there's the application process tab. Let's click that one. And we get some extra information. Student admission to study program. Okay, so intake 145 students. That's quite a lot, actually. Applicants who submit complete application. Student selections made by admissions committee, blah, blah, blah. Student admission master program may be required to complement their earlier degree with the complementary starts. Okay, I guess that's fine. Eligibility, let's see. So the criteria, two parts, Dumper University's general eligibility criteria and program specific eligibility criteria, which specify and or add information to the general criteria. Okay, and you need to meet both of these. Okay, let's see. General eligibility, this is what we already taught, talked about earlier. Bachelor's degree, national recognized first cycle degree, which corresponds at least 180 credits, European credits, 
from relevant field of master's degree program and from accredited institution of higher education. Okay, and a good command of English language for academic purposes. And let's I'll tell you more about this check. Okay, well actually let's check it right away. So if you scroll down, you can see the language requirements you need with TOEFL at least 92 yields. 6.5. I haven't taken this test because I studied in Finnish back in the day, so I don't have hands-on experience. But this is basically what you need, and it's listed here really nicely and clearly. And the program-specific criteria is mentioned here to be eligible. You must have success successfully completed a bachelor-level degree in computing, computer science, software engineering, information technology, or other closely related fields. So you basically need a relevant bachelor's degree before. That's about it. Uh, if you there's additional information how to apply, blah blah blah, read through the instructions. So this is very I'm not gonna go through much into this because they have clear instructions step by step how to apply, so that's pretty good. Okay, but anyways, let's check out the uh, tuition fees and scholarships. Uh, let's see where we where were this thing. Okay, so let's see what kind of scholarships does Tampere University offer. And like I said, this depends on on the school and the and the degree programs. But let's see what Tampere University has to offer. So both Tampere University and Tampere University of Applied Science offer a number of scholarships for fee-paying students in order to provide excellent international students with high-quality yet affordable education. Sounds pretty amazing. It can be found below. Okay, so let's say Tampere University Scholarships Program. The program consists of following scholarships, awarded admission. So if you get admitted, you will also get the, you have a chance to get the scholarship right away as well. So Tampere University Global Student Award Academic Excellence include a 7,000 euro annual scholarship to cover students' living expenses during the first year of bachelor master's degree program, program as well as tuition fee scholarship covering 100% of the tuition fee in three years bachelor's or two year master's degree program for, or both if the study right grant leads to, from bachelor's to master's. So that's pretty good. You get 100% tuition fees covered and 7,000 euro for your living expense. So that's actually pretty goddamn good scholarship, isn't it? You get 7,000 euro for living and no tuition fees, everything's covered. So you definitely want to get this one. Uh, then there's Tampere University tuition fee scholarships cover 100% tuition fees in a three-year bachelor or two-year master's or both. So it's basically the same but uh, without the living expense. An early bird scholarship covering 50% covering of tuition fees during the first year of studies available to all fee paying students. Okay. And it is said here also that scholarships are awarded at, at admission to the best applicants and during studies to students who have done exceptionally well in their studies. So you don't only have a chance to get a scholarship when you get admission, but also during the studies. So you can actually apply again during your studies for these scholarships. But this is only for Tampere University. Okay, but seems pretty good. So if you're a really kick-ass student and you've done well already in your past, you have a good chance to get everything covered. Unfortunately, they didn't mention like how many numbers or how many these scholarships they give, but that's how the Tampere University do. Okay, let's have a look at another program. And just for reference, let's take a look at another program. And this is, for example, master's degree program in education and learning, master of arts, education two years. And so it's a master program for education and 10,000 10, euro tuition fees again. That's quite a bit of money. And again, we, can, we have the same stuff, the study objectives, language of instructions in English, study contents, tuition fees, and, and so on, internal international career opportunities, postgraduate study, op and so on. So it's basically the same things, but again, if, the, if this is something you want to check, make sure to just read what they have to offer. Eligibility again, let's see. And the decision of admission will be based on relevance of the field of applicants' previous degrees, the amount, relevance, and grades, of the course in the, de in the degrees and a motivation letter. So for example, this one requires a motivation letter as well. And then there's the English requirement and stuff. But again, let's not go too much into detail of this because this is like very program specific. But let's have a look at the, the scholarships, what Turku University offers. Because this is probably very interesting. Uh, also for me, because I've never had to do this kind of thing, so it's also in, in good stuff for me. So scholarships for students who are subject to pay tuition fees. There's scholarship categories and awarding of scholarships. So let's see. The university offers a generous scholarship program st for students who are subject to tuition fees. The scholarships program has three categories. Two-year scholarships that cover, covers the entire tuition fees for two academic years. Two-year scholarship that covers 50% of the tuition fees and one-year scholarship for outstanding performance during the first study year 
the scholarship will cover the second year tuition fees. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. The scholarship will be granted up to 30% of admitted students who are subject to tuition fees and who have applied for a scholarship. Okay, so 30% of all admitted students get, so I think that's not that bad, isn't it? You can apply for the two-year scholarship at the same time as applying for admission to one of our master programs. There, are, there is a separate application process for the first year, one-year scholarship during the first study year. Okay, pretty good. And the university also offers the Fulbright University of Turku Graduate Award for student, students beyond the bachelor level at the University of Turku. The award includes a grant of 1,000 euro per month and scholarship covering tuition fee. The award is open to US citizens that are accepted one of our programs at the university. Okay, pretty good. Okay, so pretty good stuff. And this is how you should do it. So once you know what you want to study, go to this portal, write in, type in the, the keywords, the, for example, the wheel of, field of study you want to study, and see what they have to offer, see what kind of schools they are. Of course, there will be quite many because there's a lot of different programs and stuff. Check out the scholarship stuff if you if you are coming out sort of European Union. And But this is the place where you can find everything. So this is just like a general idea how the platform works. But as you can see, you can get some pretty good information about everything you need to know. So make sure to check out the platform and as you can see the application periods are opening in a few months so this is a good opportunity to see what they have to offer and this is how you can start to build your dream to come to study in Finland. And I